Over the past months, we've been looking at some of the craziest meals eaten by patients on my 600 pound life. We've seen huge meals, gross meals, and even some tasty meals. And we've got all of that and more in this video you're watching right now. So stick around, relax, maybe grab yourself a family sized box of popcorn or a liter of Coca Cola as you're about to watch another edition of the craziest meals on my 600 pound life. Feel free to check out our other videos on this topic as we have plenty. Before we get started though, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. We're starting this list off hot with Lisa, who probably had the most eventful episode in season nine. Lisa's enabling partner, Randy, who unfortunately dies mid episode, feeds her a lot of food, and I mean a lot. For breakfast, we see Lisa devour a gargantuan amount of food. This breakfast consists of the classics, bacon, eggs, and toast, which aren't super bad for you. But look at the sheer amount of what Lisa is eating. Her plate is almost towering over due to the huge stacks of toast that are on there. Not even two minutes later in the episode, we see Randy serve her a big plate of frozen pizza with Doritos. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good, but if I had a breakfast that big, I probably wouldn't want to eat for the rest of the day. You know how bad it is? It's absolutely terrible. And food becomes your best friend, it's your only friend. I mean, I've tried like not eating so much and stuff like that, but I'm a stress eater, so whenever I'm stressed out or something, I eat. Growing up, we never really recognized Lisa's weight because all of us was heavy back then, except for Robin, the other sister. My life was chaotic. My dad was an alcoholic. He wasn't at first. He was a real good dad when we were younger, but then he got into drinking and started beating on my mom and everything. Food became a comfort to me because whenever I got upset or afraid or lonely, I knew it'd be there. And I started eating a lot after that. Up next, we have James B, who has a pretty big meal at what looks like a family event. It's pretty sad because James is eating all by himself. It's almost like he doesn't want people to see how much food he can put away because he could put away a lot. We see him eat not only two cheeseburgers, but two sloppy joes and a side of pasta salad. James himself even says that his portions could fill the stomachs of three grown men, and we certainly see that. His eating habits don't get much better after his first appointment with Dr. Now, though. He should be eating little amounts of good food, but instead of doing that, he orders Burger King. James orders a Burger King combo with a large large sweet tea, 10 piece nuggets, and chicken fries. The amount of calories in this meal is more than what he should be eating in a whole day according to Dr. Now's diet plan. This next huge meal comes from the episode featuring Tammy. Now I had a lot of trouble identifying what this meal even was, but I'm gonna hazard a guess and say it's cottage pie, which is an oven baked meal consisting of ground beef, mashed potatoes, usually accompanied with peas and carrots. However, I don't see any veggies in this cottage pie. Instead, I see it eaten with two gigantic bread rolls and finished off with a bag of gummy snakes. I'm gonna be honest, this cottage pie doesn't look that great and I don't think I'd personally eat a bite of it, let alone a plate as big as Tammy's. I tried to tell her, that she shouldn't eat like she does. I try not to enable Tammy, but she gets mad if she don't get what she wants. I'd fix big meals and, and I'd eat and eat and eat because, you know, there's not much more that I can do. I literally think about food all the time. The only time I'm not thinking about food is when I'm either in the bathroom or I'm sleeping. And when I first start eating, it's like the best thing in the world. It's like when You've won the lottery. It's just the greatest thing. But I know I eat at least four or five times more than I should. I feel like it's gonna make me feel better and like it's going to solve, I guess, what's ever going on with me right then. I've never really sat down and kept track of my calories. Honestly, I wouldn't even know where to start. But I know I'm eating myself to death. Now this next meal isn't really crazy in size, but it's just crazy in logic. At one point in the episode, Randy ends up losing a little bit of weight, and he says that it gives him more freedom to engage in social activities. But one of those activities involves eating fried food. We see Randy at a bowling alley indulging in food that definitely isn't part of Dr. Now's plan. When we see Randy return to the clinic, he's gained weight again. What I don't understand is Randy's logic. He seems so surprised as if he wasn't doing anything wrong. All he had to do was stick to the plan, especially considering he was making decent progress at it. Up next, we have Sean Milliken, who has unfortunately passed away since this episode's release. Sadly, for the amount of food we see him consume, it's very unsurprising what happened to him. It feels almost inevitable when he considers two burgers, fries, and ice cream as a snack. Most people consider this a very satisfying meal, but Sean isn't done eating. He follows it up with two huge pizzas all to himself and a mega glass of Coke. This is a shocking amount of food to have all in one day, and the most shocking thing about it is that he eats all of it within the span of just a few hours. Even after being put on Dr. Now's diet, he continues to eat 
bad food. We see Sean eating a burger and fries, which obviously isn't as much as two huge pizzas, but there's absolutely no excuse in continuing to eat junk when trying to do a diet. Food has kind of become my comfort. Kind of like a child with their blankie. I don't know what tomorrow will bring, but at least I know food is there. What do you say we order in tonight? Pizza sounds good. Pizza sounds good? I miss being able to get up, move, go places. The addiction that I now have is killing me. And I know I'm almost out of time. John's missing out on everything in life. It's heartbreaking to see Sean in the condition that he's in. I know for a fact I need to lose weight. In the season 9 episode featuring Tammy, we see her start the day with a huge plate of food. On this plate, we can see a generous helping of sausages, bacon, cheesy eggs and ham, biscuits, and pancakes. Right next to the plate is a massive cup of orange juice, which is probably the healthiest thing consumed that morning. I mean, just take a look at her plate compared to her mother's. It's like three times the size. Later on in the day, we see her order a bunch of food. Now, obviously, you could see it's a lot, but I happen to know her exact order, so get ready for this. Tammy ordered herself 25 chicken tender meals with five pieces of fried fish, fries, mashed potatoes, and okra. Now, I love me some chicken tenders, but after eating 25 of them in one go, I think I never want to eat them again. I think when you come accustomed to eating so much, you don't know how to stop. But I'm the one portioning her food. And in the past, I have enabled her. They know how to stop, just like she didn't know how to stop. I, I'm gonna say most of the time, I, I give in. Food is my only escape from the misery I have. You know, once I start, I don't want to stop. So, eat as much as I want. Only time I'm not snacking is if I'm eating a meal or if I'm asleep. Well, I eat as much as I can, and I love it. I'm already shocked. I even let it get to the point that I'm at now because I never thought I'd end up like this. But instead of being out in the world, I'm trapped here as a burden to my family. They say I'm not, but I feel like it. To have to constantly feel like you're only bringing problems and struggles to your family. But then it hurts too much to get up. My body parts could give out at any moment. My heart could stop, my lungs could stop. And I know I am definitely at a crossroad and I have to do something now. Yet again, it's breakfast time, and we see Dolly start her day off with some of the thickest slices of toast I've ever seen. Not only that, but a massive portion of scrambled eggs smothered in ketchup, along with a bowl of sausages. Again, a big breakfast. But there's another thing that surprised me even more. Dolly drinks a liter of milk with her breakfast as well. Later on in the episode, Dolly prepares dinner, and while it's not particularly crazy, I do think it looks pretty disgusting. Dolly makes herself some fried ham with broccoli and cauliflower. Pretty normal, right? Well, yeah, but then she proceeds to smother everything on her plate with American cheese spread. It makes the food look incredibly unappetizing, to say the least. 